What's, what's your base case here? Are you tr seeking to block the deal or are you simply seeking to evaluate the deal? Thank you, Andrew. It's good to see you. I, too, was up last night watching great baseball. Um, the reason why we sued, and you're right in your recital of the case, we asked Albertson to pause its special cash dividend, which I like to refer to as a cash grab of $4 billion, so that the announced merger could be fully evaluated and reviewed. That process takes about a year. Um, in, in, in connection with the merger, Albertson also, as I indicated, uh, made a special dividend to be issued on November 7, which is next Monday, $4 billion. That $4 billion out of Albertson is going to impair the ability of that company to compete while the merger is being reviewed. All we want is the status quo to remain to allow the reviewers of the merger to review it while Albertson continues to compete in the essential industry that is food grocers. So, but, but take the, the go 30,000 feet for a second. Sure. Which is ultimately, it sounds like you are, I, don't, you, I know you're going to want to say I'm never predisposed to anything because you want to look, look at the facts, but it sounds like you're predisposed to thinking that this is a merger worth challenging. It's actually not true that we have prejudged this. Um, we, uh, in the D.C. office, requested documents uh, from Albertson uh, just about 10 days ago. And, of course, it's going to take a long time, generally speaking. These mergers take about a year to be reviewed. I am not prejudging it at all. What I am judging is that $4 billion out of Albertson is going to impair its ability to compete. It could possibly hurt consumers and workers. $4 billion in cash in a down economy means that Albertson will likely not be able to access the capital markets for money. In fact, in the merger agreement, it precludes Albertson from doing that. Not many companies can survive and compete when $4 billion is taken out of them immediately. And we're going to stop that. Can I make one point, Andrew, just to talk about how outrageous and extraordinary this cash grab is? The special dividend is 57 times, 57 times the amount of Albertson dividends over the past several years. It's a cash grab that we believe a court will stop. What, what has the company's response been to date? It's really interesting. Uh, the company has indicated that its special dividend was not in connection with the merger. I'm just going to show you their press release announcing the merger. Here's what it says. Albertson's companies announces special dividend in connection with signing of merger agreement. They didn't get their ducks in order. The law will. And that's why we're in federal court seeking a stop of a cash grab of $4 billion. I don't know if you want to get into the minds of the, um, of the management at Albertson's and Kroger, but how much do you think the plan to pay this money out is, in fact, a way of forcing the deal through. You know, you're right, Andrew. I live in an intent um, area where evidence usually establishes intent. We've not yet had a, a, a time to absorb all the, ev uh, the evidence. But there is no doubt that taking $4 billion out, and by the way, 1.5 of that $4 billion is coming out of a revolving credit line, okay? Taking that out is going to weaken Albertson, and it may make it so that... Albertson believes that not only do they benefit uh, the shareholders, uh, especially Cerebus Capital, from taking the $4 billion out, but the company will be so depleted it will have to be permitted to merge. That's right. what's called jumping the gun. And the court, I believe, is going to carefully scrutinize this, and I think uh, that we win. would love to come back on the show after that.